bro. Okay, girl. I'm glad that happened to y'all. I ain't gonna lie. It's all right, horsey. Go easy, girl. Bro, I did not know they had the KKK K on her. Why does it turn like that? Nigga, is that a grizzly bear? Why are they trying to make me shoot him with a gun? I really don't have any uh any space left. I don't see no other ones. Actually I see one actually. Nah, that's a horse. Look, that's a horse. Is that a horse? Might not be a horse. That's a deer. Like a dog. Yeah. To the twenty seven, man. Why does it do that? Like they try to, they literally try to make you run in the trees. My horse look at Dutch horse. Like, come on. My horse look better. His horse looks so. Hello, Lenny. Hey, Kieran. Nigga, is this the same horse? Good job, girl. This nigga has the same horse. Why is it forcing me to look at it? Oh, some pools and whiskey. Like the waves of the bay of the biscuit. 
I began to tumble and roar. Okay. My face was as red as a lobster. This nigga just about to follow me around. I broke my poor knob, sir. I watch you as pics from my fob, sir. I'll never get drunk no more. Man, John, get this drunk nigga, bro. I'm resolved to try it. Yes, follow him. Don't forget, I'm more than happy to craft you something if you bring me the right materials. Purchase leather wool. Here I come. Now think about it. I'm down to the scraps here now, Mr. Morgan. Alright, so Good I can't job, give Morgan. him. I can't give him none of that. Good morning, Arthur. What's up? Let me get some of this slop. The deal. Okay. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called. Hey, Molly, where's Dutch? Well, however it goes. I'm not sure all that line of thought serves you and me very well. Uh, that's because, Cowpoke, you are a man of profoundly limited intelligence. No doubt. Well, you and the old man and Dutch have been running around, digging us ever deeper into shit. Old Mr. Pearson might have gone and lightened the load a little. Pearson! Ain't you curious? I guess. Gentlemen. Dutch, you tell him, fat man. It's peace, Dutch. The O'Driscolls. I mean, I think there's a way. What on earth are you talking about? Get the words out properly, fat man. I met a couple of the O'Driscoll boys on the road in the town. And things were about to get ugly. But you know how I am in a fight, huh? <laughs> like a corner tiger. <laughs> anyway. Somehow it didn't, but we got to talking, and they suggested a parlay to end things like gentlemen. Gentlemen, <laughs> Comb O'Driscoll. <clears throat> Have you lost your minds? You're always telling us, Dutch, do what has to be done, but don't fight wars ain't worth fighting. They want a parley? It's a trap. Well, of course, it's probably a trap, but what do we got to lose finding out? Get shot. He ain't getting shot because you'll be protecting us. It's a trap. You shoot the lot of them. If it ain't a trap, that's slim chance. I don't see the point in any of this. It's a chance. You gotta take. I killed Combs brother. A long time ago. Then he killed. A woman I love dear. Mm. As you say, it's a long time ago, Dutch. Let's go. You and me, with Arthur protecting us, no one else. What about me? This ain't the time for tigers, my friend. Like, Let's crazy. go there. I thought he had a horse from here. He got a snow horse. Yep. Not bad, girl. Good job. You know, 
I've been fighting Cone for so long now, I can barely remember a time when it was different. And you're still fighting him now. Make no mistake of that. Here he goes. Doubting to... Thomas, is there any plan Man, you ain't sour on? Well, maybe you're right. Just nervous. Let's not waste any more lives needlessly. I ain't costing lives here. I'm saving them. What did you say? We had Pinkertons coming after us. Because of Blackwater and Leviticus Cornwall and his private army. Then, then who knows when this local hillbilly thing will come to a head. <laughs> and we really afford to be fighting on all these fronts and O'Driscoll. There is wisdom in that. Well, I hope so, gentlemen, but like I said, I'm nervous. Look, you ain't even going to be the one in danger. We'll get on over there, find a nice perch for you to settle into. You got that rifle, don't you? Yeah, yeah. Then me and Judge walk right in to the lion's den with you to cover us, hmm? Okay, just keep calm, unless I give you a reason not to. Oh, we'll be fine. We got you. I will do my best. Oh, my dear and trusted friend, with you watching over me, I would walk into hell itself. As Bro. would I. That nigga in front of me is lying. Hey, up there, men on the ridge. Oh, Driscoll's from the look of them. I don't like having eyes on us. We're close. You'll be the eyes soon enough. Uh, maybe he's right, Dutch. Maybe I have pushed too hard. Got us into situations that could have been safer. I just... I see all those mouths we gotta feed, and I... I dream too big. This nigga is... too much. Egg That's eating, my problem. Bro. Karen, too much. There's no such thing. Nigga is in me this fighting. This is shit from both of you. This is what I'm it saying. Might be, Mike, might be full of shit. Como Driscoll might be full of shit. The promise of this great nation, men created equal, liberty and justice for all. Oh, that's big. That might be nonsense too, but it's worth trying for. It is worth believing in. Can't you see that, friend? I, I don't know. Try. All I ask is you try. All How we got right, the same folks, horse, but mine look better than his. Up ahead. We'll be meeting down on the plane. Find a spot just above us where you can keep an eye on things. All right, all right. However, this shakes out. Let's aim to meet back at the fork in the road afterwards. We'll be there, partner. Yeah. Where is everybody? Something ain't right. Do Dutch know him? Hello, Dutch. He do. It's been a while. <clears throat> sure. So, uh, how's your gang doing? They still believing in you? Better world. Pure world. <laughs> how's that coming along? Just fine. Hmm. How's that score you stole off us? Which one? 
far like that. It's like I said, this is a charismatic leader. A lot of heat on us this time. Both of us. A whole heap of trouble. They offered me a price, Dutch, to bring you in. Why didn't you take it? Well, it still might. I am sorry about your brother. Yeah, well, I never liked him much. I liked Annabelle. You always loved the ladies, Dutch Vanderlyn. I like that about you. What are we doing here? Go home. Is this thing over? It's just beginning, Dutch. Ah! What the heck? It's always something. I knew something was wrong. Hello, sugar. <laughs> you ain't dead, is you? <laughs> Not. Oh, my back. My back. I don't know. Column's got a sense. Handing him over to the law. It's, I don't know. Strange times. They killed Seamus. Fuck the whole lot of them. With this fella coming <sighs> fight, we can draw them all back. Can't they see me? Did I kill you? Oh, oh not yet. <laughs> <laughs> no, of course not. <laughs> not yet. But I will. They just kill me. Uh, Nigga, I thought I was invincible. Uh, uh, Bro, it take a cutscene to kill me. They can't really do it, they sell. Finally. Put his weapons over there. Who is this that got me? That makes they sense. The forgetting sword. If I were you, I'd run as soon as I had the money. <laughs> oh, I know you would. Let's see. We lure an angry Dutch in to rescue you. Grab all of you. Hand you in. Then disappear. So you only met with him to grab me? <laughs> of course. You're gonna be so mad. He gonna come raging over here. And a whole lot of you. If you actually about to come over here. be waiting for him. Arthur. <laughs> Arthur. I missed you. <laughs> My side. My leg. Nobody coming to get me. Oh. 
Everybody in here. Oh, yeah, we need it. We need it. We need it. We need it. We need the gunpowder. 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 Ah, now here's the hard part. The heck am I supposed to do? Oh. Uh. Shoot the hole. I don't want to go to Mexico. I want to go home. Home. Hold on, I'll be back in a minute. What the hell? Hurry up, hurry up! Where's this gun at? What's he still doing down there? It's one thing torturing a man, it's another thing putting him through stories of the homeland. Better hurry it up. I don't want to be here when the law comes for that side of beef. Prisoners out! Don't let them get to the Bro. 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 I literally. Bro. 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 I hate them throwing knives. I'm not gonna lie. I hate these throwing knives. I'm not gonna lie. I just, I just wasn't used to them. I just, I just wasn't used to them. I just wasn't used to them. What's he still doing down there? Throwing knives is it's probably crazy. I just wasn't used to them. It's another thing putting him through stories of the homeland. He better hurry it up. I don't want to be here when the law comes for that side of beef. <laughs> Yo! about to pass out. I'm about to pass out. 
about to pass out. Come on, come on, Snow. Come on, Snow. Come on, Snow. You faster than this. You faster than this, Snow. You faster than this, Snow. I run these niggas, Snow. How did they just fall in the water? Oh, come on, girl. Get me home. I'm about to pass out. I knew it. I think she knows her way home, though, so I, 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 I should be good. Swanson. He's gonna set the law on us. Oh, of course he was. I'm sorry, Arthur. It is a bit late for apologies. Swanson! Mr. Morgan. Mr. Morgan, you're safe now. Oh, let's get him to bed. You are safe now, Arthur. Okay. Oh, I got you. You're safe now. Yeah, That's you pretty. Know I was, I was hey. That's real pretty. Miss Grimshaw, will you sit with him a while? Of course. You'll be okay, Mr. Morgan. You're home. Them throwing knives are ass, though. Like, you gotta really get up close to a nigga. Matter of fact, you probably gotta throw it, like, farther up. It's just because I ain't using them. I, I gotta start using them more. They actually didn't follow me back. I thought I'd be burying you, Mr. Morgan. Well, not quite yet, River. Good. How you feeling? Oh, uh, about the same as you. I'm sorry to hear that. <laughs> well, take care of yourself. Me too. In the gang replaced my stone with weapons. Beard won't grow any longer unless you use hair tonic. Tell me. Use hair tonic will allow your beard to grow a little bit more. So how do I get hair tonic? They say. Like so you didn't get Colmo Driscoll. Get the hair. The hair. 
hear Tommy. Morning, Arthur. Always good to see you. Listen, Morgan, uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I, I thought they would shoot me, not you. Always. What happened? Yeah, the whole thing was odd. I kept waiting for, for them to jump us, and then they left, and we assumed we'd meet you on the trail back. You never showed up. No. I was getting special guest treatment from Como Driscoll. Uh, so I heard. I'm sorry. One time I, I I try to be wise and careful and make a goddamn fool of myself. What are we gonna do? That'll teach me. It's Dutch. I, I mean, he's always found a way, but lately I I know, dear. I've had better days. It seems we don't have a choice but to well, ride this train like to the end of the line. If I were you, think of the boy and make plans. Thanks for getting me home, Snow. Oh, hey, Arthur. How do I get here, Tommy? Assume it's inside of the grocery store. Busy, Arthur. Sorry, girl. Bro, this horse is moving so fast. I can really tell the difference. It's the horse I've been in. I just gotta max it out. Again, friend. How you keep him? Uh, <laughs> I'm miserable because of the leg. Ah, oh, no, I'm used to the leg. I mean, I've been without it a whole lot longer than I was with it. <laughs> nah, it's a people. They're a bunch of nasty, miserable peasants I gotta share this place with. Why don't you leave? Leave? Well, I live here. <laughs> They're my nasty, miserable people. 
I've been hating on him for so long, if I forgot to hate him, I wouldn't know what day it was. And with you, man, you ought to get out of here and you ought to stop coming back. Been a while since you were last here. Have a look. All for sale, except the floorboards. Now, oh, let me show you. Oh, yeah, here we go, right here. Done. That should be good. Drink the hair tonic. Rose, you got to want to miss this. Thanks, partner. You think nothing Do I drink them all at the same time? Didn't you just leave? Nah, I did. Nigga, don't you want some money? Oh, okay, sorry. I just assumed you couldn't read. Done. <laughs> Something else you're after? Let's go, girl. I'm not going without that thing. Good day to you. Mister? Morning. Nah, I can't even go in there. Actually, while I'm here, I might as well get rid of some of my items. Looking to sell your wares or buy some of the finest meat to ever grace this town? Alright, uh, I don't need to sell this stuff. I need to sell my valuables. What's up, dog? What's wrong? Feathers of fur, keep it in the bag. Toxins for coffee, material. Oh, I mean, I can't really sell him or anything. Mr. Ballard across the way there is doing a roaring trade all of a sudden. <laughs> Maybe I ought to move. So where do I sell? Where, where do I sell these goods at? Bro, I don't. 
don't know where to sell this stuff at. Come on, Snow, let's get up out of here. Should have named her Snow White, but I ain't play typing all that. I wonder could I just sit there that whole time and just keep buying the horse uh well probably not there but go to like the horse stable and keep buying the horse uh food and keep feeding her and, and petting her. Would it go up faster? You're alright, girl. Hey, you're okay, girl. Oh, yeah, I'm about to come right to you, my boy. Oh, hey, Arthur. Can I talk to you for a minute? Sure. The bed's Dutch. It is. This stew is decidedly it's lacking on decent I'm meat, Mr. Morgan. You're a sweet girl. If you don't strike me as an idiot, I win. Mary Beth. don't love you. Dutch don't love you. Hey, this camp could do with a few improvements. Why don't you take a look at my ideas? Dutch don't love you. That's so great. Take care of yourself. You don't understand. Unfortunately, no, I reckon I need to get my hands on some material first. Wait, I never seen Dutch talk to uh, Lil Jack before. What did King do? A real bad thing. Where did dog come from? Wandering. Fuck you, Jack. How they only got four hundred dollars in here when everybody just got a thousand dollars? Honestly, my honor should have went up just for the fact that I just gave them that gold. And that's the max I can put in there? How they gonna tell me that I gotta stop giving stuff? That pocket watch was $10 a piece? Bro, how they gonna tell me I gotta stop giving stuff? Again. You okay? Not good. It ain't easy being me. I know. Keep it coming. Uh, 
I'm, I'm gonna get to a thousand. Put like fifty dollars in there. I try to put a hundred. That's my boy. It's a thousand right there. Now we got a thousand dollars in the can. That y'all, that y'all uh, mysteriously never try to buy food with. Why? Well, I know you think I'm just some effete buffoon. A what? A man of words and not of action. Hardly a man at all. Well, I think you're as slippery as an eel in an oil slick, but still a man. Because I think I've... I found something interesting. Yeah? Have you ever robbed a stagecoach? No, never. Well, I would have even thought. Of course I robbed a goddamn stagecoach. You know I have. And what's the problem with stagecoaches? The armed man attempting to put a bullet in your head. Not quite. The odds. I mean, is it worth the robbing? Sometimes. I know. But, well, if you'd like to come with me, I can introduce you to a new best friend, and he's he's going to give you all the decent, robbable stagecoaches a hot-blooded degenerate could require. Well, I could require a whole lot. So where do we find this friend of yours? Roads. Because what can possibly go wrong there? Well... Lead the way and we'll find out. You sure seem to have got a bow around here. You know me. I like to make friends in low places. How the hell you end up down here anyway? I could ask the same of you. I have a few commitments over this way. Some expenses to meet. Expenses? What expenses? Gentlemen's canes and rabbits to pull out of hats? Among other things, I had quite a nice little business going for a while. Look how fast my horse is. Company. Excellent returns for the investor of a certain financial standing. Until, well, that unfortunate run-in with the law. Yeah, that's how it goes. Thanks for disappearing on us during that Sean business, by the way. I've done my part. Each to their strengths, dear boy. You know, you boys should really watch yourselves with those two families. Here we are. We can hitch up outside. I'll make the introductions, Arthur. You did good, girl. Mm-hmm. I still don't see the point of me uh, putting my horse on here. Like, it's not gonna run away. to give you a message to meet him here in town as soon as you can. Something to do with the craze. I thought I'd nab you first. You did? Okay. Thanks. Hello, Joe Zah. How have you been? Dandy. And you, friend? Uh, like I said, times are tough. My missus is a bad woman. Terrible woman. They often are. But how's work, Alden? Terrible. Wages got cut again. They reckon they just invented a new horse's character. Of us. <laughs> They've been saying that nonsense since they invented the wheel. The witness of bosses. I know. My comrades here and I are greatly discouraged from the adequate fulfillment of our duty. 
A discouraged man is no man at all, Alden. No man at all. My friend Arthur here has a present for you. Here. Ain't you kind, sir. Call him Arthur. He's one of us, a fellow man of distinction. Okay. Well, this is perfect timing. I think you'll like this one, Josiah. It'll be coming south down the river road through Siltwater Strain. Why did it his, Thank the, you, the mic he recorded on? Thank you very much. The game is so clear. Oh, and Josiah, if you or Arthur are ever out Strawberry Way, ask for my colleague there. Feller called Hector. He's also one of the what did you call us again? Discouraged men, Alden. That's it, discouraged men. I like that. Well, goodbye, Alden, or should I say, adieu. Oh, adieu, Josiah. Bro, what was that? I thought he even worked. What the hell was that? I thought you might like to see that pantomime. River Road through Siltwater Strand, he said. Okay. I think I know a good spot to wait. Follow me. Who horse is that? Yep. All right, girl. Okay, let's go. This way. Yeah! can be. Seems a lot of the station workers are in on it these days. Earning a pittance, the unions are whipping them up, so they want something on the side. Like he said, there, strawberry. Could create a lot of opportunities for a man in your line of work. I ain't sure about going back to strawberry after all that market business. Didn't sound like you left anyone alive to recognize you, so I wouldn't worry too much, dear boy. All this trouble, you gentlemen Wait, Valentine, I've already been went back to Valentine. Aren't you? Soon you'll be on the front of a dime novel. And dead, of course. We're hoping to be long gone before that. Dutch has a plan. <laughs> Here we are. This is the spot. This should do. Sure. Here. I'm hoping we won't need those. Uh, yeah. Better safe than sorry. So what were you thinking? Well, according to this, the loot is located in a strong box, which is in the back. I'll put on a little performance, and you can scurry around, open the strong box, and relieve them of their goodies. And how do I open the strong box without threatening someone to open it for me? This should work. <laughs> And I can do this silently? Well, I'm hoping complete silence won't be necessary. But you're going to wish you had your earplugs. This is Damson. Oh, very good, Alden. Very good. Of course, if anything goes wrong, you can wave your guns around like you normally do. Hold tight. They'll be here soon. There it is. Right on time. Let's go. Keep your distance so they don't see you. Please leave that gun in its holster for once. I guess. I'll head ahead and get the coach to stop. You hang back. Don't. What is wrong with this nigga? Hello. I hope you don't mind my singing. Not at all. I'm the best. Oh, it's a free country. Did you say a show? 
Is somebody else in there? I didn't even see her right there. Mrs. Chester Damson. I flatter. But stop the coach, my good man. Stop the coach. Bro, she's trying to, man. She's trying to get her dunny smacked. Miss Damson, you owe it to West Elizabeth. Why do you need a card? They don't have phone numbers. So sorry, gentlemen. It took me eight years to mail one letter. Farewell. It's okay, girl. Well done, sir. Well done. It was easy. You did all the work. Teamwork, my dear boy. Teamwork. Here you go. Thank you. Oh, it's always good. Go see Alden from time to time. See you soon, Arthur. Seven fifty. Come on, girl. Yeah. That's cool that you can see them after the mission instead of making them disappear. Like they didn't own they're literally they own NPCs. Okay, girl. 